Now, as you can probably tell by everything that I wear, I like green as much as the next man. Unless the next man is David Bruce Banner. Take a look at that. That's the Incredible Hulk all day long. My new colour scheme for the Land Cruiser is blue and black, so this has got to change. Let's get the barbecue paint out. Hello and welcome to Mudkip. This is the Van Gogh Infrared Combi Grill. The question is, is it any good? Let's find out. Right, so here she is. Um, been looking for a decent uh, two ring burner with a grill. Had one on my Defender, that sold, but I just went for a budget one just to see how things went and always yearned for a little bit more. It wasn't, you know, it was all a bit a bit cheap and a bit, bit kind of tinny. Um, this, believe it or not, found it in, in Go Outdoors of all places. Uh, not the only place you can buy it, obviously. Um, but it just struck me as very, very well built. Um, also, the other key thing was to have an ignition knob that didn't just ignite the two burners, but also did the grill underneath as well. So my old one, I was always kind of, you know, trying to get a lighter underneath and, and lighting both sides of it this just one turn and the whole thing lights up um, the other thing is just the build quality it's just solid Th this is really really substantial that's really really heavy duty um, the top here is you know nice and easy to clean and it just seems to be a, an honest well-built piece of kit um, these brass um, uh, knobs are all very very heavy duty as well and um, yeah that you know it's just well made that's all I can say what I will say is the top has a little bit of a wobble on it but that's not a deal breaker it doesn't really matter uh, when it's down it's, you know, it's nice and solid um, these little catches bit plasticky might replace those with some stainless steel um, kind of latches um, but yeah the quality of the the grill as well I mean this is just like another Another planet compared to the old one. It's just really, really like solid. That's like a proper, proper heavy duty bit of steel. Get your bacon on there or your toast or your, your cheese sandwich, toasted cheese sandwich and away you go. Um, it's got some little locking devices here that are a bit fiddly. Again, not the end of the world, but that just keeps the, keeps the back from floating around. Um, yeah, color wise, I've just tested a little bit in the middle for the old black barbecue paint. Uh, we're going to do another video on kind of uh, you know transforming this into something that goes a little bit better with blue, uh, and that's pretty much it really. Highly recommended. Nice solid piece of kit. Right, let's fire it up, shall we? On she goes. Give it a twist. Boom. There's one. There's another, should we do the grill as well? Why not? Now that's great, first time the grill goes on. Like I said, my old one, it had two separate rings, you have to, you've got two separate line of flames, you have to do one, then try and do another. This just, it just works, it's just good. Um, yeah, plenty of heat coming off there. Could put a couple of side shields on it. I did look at some other ones by Camping Gas that had all this kind of flame protection technology but the build quality was horrendous it was it was like the cheapest tin you could possibly find and then chrome it it was horrible um, but it was blue but never mind anyway this is going to turn to black so yeah that's pretty much it really it works tune in for the next video we're going to give it a few tries um, over the next couple of weekends 
um, and by the next time you see it that'll all be barbecue painted black on second thoughts let's not do a second video that's going to be boring pretty much as boring as watching paint dry really did you see what i did there um so yeah this is me just masking it off um i've given it a bit of a degrease with some brake cleaner um and basically sprayed it with barbecue paint uh, because it's heat proof because there's gonna be a bit of heat there and there it is all nice and shiny and new in its virgin state before i went and got it really really dirty um, looks great from the inside, looks even better from the uh, from the back. The matte black uh, seems to kind of pull out the, the shapes on there. Um, and I think that looks really smart. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here we are, it's uh, been out probably four or five times now. It's performed flawlessly. As you can see, it's starting to get used now. It's covered in a bit of grease and God knows what. A um, couple of little top tips. This is just a, a brass four-way connector that I've got. So that goes onto the tank. This is for barbecue, that's for cooker, and that's for hot water. Uh, these are air fitting hoses. I chose to use them. They're not approved for gas, so don't don't take this as a recommendation. But it's just something that I've done. Um, with regard to the top here, as you can notice, there's no rattling coming from that. That's because I found these silicon feet. Um, you can get these on eBay, I'll put a link in below. Um, they basically just slide over, made of silicon, they're not going to burn, and that just stops any kind of um, noise when you're transporting it around. Um, as I've mentioned before, overland vehicles, the, the, the rake, the shack, the shack, no, say it properly, the rattles and shakes add up over a period of time, and it can become really annoying. Um, so that's all ready to go. We'll put that down. As you can see, it's been nicely done in black now. Oh dear, look, we've got a scratch. Uh, oh, what are we going to do? Well, let's just give that a little repair. Boom, it's gone. Good old barbecue paint. Can't beat it. Um, that's it. I think that's pretty much the Van Gogh review done. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> also, hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Bye for now. See you on the next one.